you know me now, stop till she get them all back, but you see me. Very proud in pharma, me not do it for myself, but for Jamaica. You see me, must be an informer, me have to make the sacrifice and make the police see a You see me, must be an informer, me have a number for the sergeant and the inspector. You see me, must be an informer, and if me can't get this out, me call commissioner. You can't stay the talk about in pharma for dead. When them kick off your door, them boy, you're not scared. Don't let them kill your mother and your granny, all your baby are dead. Worse if you stand up on a ball and I beg them a dead with laugh when bullet open up your head. No make no sense, you run with and go hide on the bed, cause the house are burned down. What more can be said? You know, see, say, every day I just be a blood of shed. You see me, very proud in pharma. Me not do it for myself, but for Jamaica. Good afternoon and welcome back to another program of In the North the Law on Stairs FM, Jamaica's number one radio station. My name is Del Rose Green, as I said, and I'm a sergeant of police for the beautiful parish of Portland. And of course, we are here live every day, Monday rather, and Wednesday at the, this time. I don't multitask well enough, so I want to realize I'm paying attention to something else. I want to say thanks to our kind sponsors, of course, Native Audio Stage and Lighting, to Braham's Texaco, and of course, we have Portland Smells at 42 West Street. That's a new dental place that is up there at um, 42 West Street, Port Antonio, the plaza in front of Army Lane. That's upstairs Jacob's Law Firm, and the opening hours are, of course, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And of course, we have MT Landscaping Services, who is always supporting us at Francis Lewis Boulevard, Queens, New York City. We have, of course, this evening, um, all listeners from St. Thomas, Portland, St. Mary, St. Anne, Maypen, Clarendon, St. Catherine, Kinson, and St. Andrew, down there in St. James, of course, the United States of America, UK, and Canada. And to our Facebook fans this evening, good evening to you all. We are coming to you live, and of course, if you want to be a part of and see my ugly face, you can log on to the Styles FM fan page, right, Cassidy? That's Styles FM Portland, Jamaica. Uh, you can go and look on their Facebook page and you will see the program live. Mr. Merrick is here with me once again. Good evening, Mr. Merrick. Hello? Cassidy, what are you doing, Mr. Merrick? I'm here, I'm here. So I am mute your phone. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear, Mr. Merrick Damar. And of course I have with All me, right. once again, Mr. Merrick Damar is an attorney at law and he might sound like a Trinidadian, but he's in fact a Jamaican. <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. <laughs> Merrick? Not bad enough. Uh, you asked me where I'm from? Is that what you asked me? No, I am telling the persons that you sound like a Trinidadian, but you're actually a Jamaican. Well, I spend a lot of time in Trinidad, you know, DG. I spend, that's one of my second most favorite place to go and relax and get away from the rest of the world. Oh. And yes. so, and so I, I came near you when I said you saw no, Trini. Uh, well, I, I'll take it as a compliment, but I'm born Jamaican. I, I, born I, and raised. I, I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> um, and I, I know we're live on the Facebook Live, so you can tag your people like they know that you are actually live there. Mr. Merrick, <clears throat> since we last spoke, a lot of ha has happened. How have you been doing? Not bad enough, can't complain. Just watching what's going on in this world, and part of me is crying. Part of me is not sure if I should rejoice as yet. I I'm just confused. I'm, I'm up, I'm down, I'm sideways every single moment. I'm fearful, I'm, I'm hopeful, I'm joyful, I'm sad. Uh, the whole spectrum of human emotions I've suffered and enjoyed it for the last few days. Right. But, you, you know, but, but what can I say? What can I say? See? Well, um, we have quite a lot, Mr. Merck. I, I, of course, I have some questions for you. Um, but, you know, we always chit-chat a little first. And um, quite a lot have happened since we last spoke. Um, of yes. course, the the... Schools are still closed, but starting this morning, the persons who are actually sitting the CXC exams and other integral exams in schools had the opportunity of going back to the classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, of course, a lot of the protocols have to be observed and adhered to, 
which is the taking of the temperature, the wearing of the mask, the, so the physical distancing, the benches being marked, strict instructions as for, I got one of the, um, the circulars from the Titchfield High School and I liked what I saw because they actually had all instructions um, to the students, to the parents rather, to instruct the students that um, apart from going to class, if they go for a lunch break, they're to go to the lunchroom and get back to their classroom. And, you know, everything was outlined in a structured way. And so I see some efforts being done. Um, but Mr. Merrick, mm -hmm. the domestic violence, you remember we spoke about it. Um, and I asked you certain questions when we were last year about the USA and green card holders. Well, yesterday, Mr. Merrick, uh, a man, and, and I will not call him a gentleman, my, my bishop, Mr. Delroy Farr, often time remind us that we should not use the word gentleman uh, very loosely, um, because gentleman is in fact a person who has high standard. A man killed his girlfriend, baby mother, who is indeed a member of the Jamaica Defense Force killed the baby, and then killed himself yesterday in St. Thomas. It has left don't shock. Pardon me? Don't even use the word man. That's just a male. <laughs> well, I, I get another one. <laughs> this is another one. Um, this is another one. I, and and I, I, I'm guided, and I, I agree with you. That's not a man. Um, that's a male. And so it is sad, uh, yet another female has been the victim of domestic violence. And uh, he not only killed her, but killed his, the baby, and then he killed himself. And um, you know, it, it makes you wonder if persons don't see the signs, because honestly, they, they, I, I, I am one person who I do not believe that Mr. Merrick Domestic violence has raised up its head overnight. I do believe that there are signs. Well, you, you know, DJ, um, from when I was a little boy growing up in Jamaica off of Riddles Road, on Riddles Road, actually, um, there was always talks about not walking in certain areas because of gunmen, not walking in certain areas because of cow, bad cows, not walking in certain areas because of bad dog. And then there were the areas where you would hear that those guys over there would beat women. Mm -hmm. And back in the 60s and early 70s, the idea that, uh, you know, you, you beat the woman because you love her um, is as old as the, the hills. Um, there was an English poet by the name of Cicero. Mm -hmm. And Cicero wrote a poem that says, a dog, no, a, a woman a dog, a walnut tree. The more you beat them, the better they be. Now, this was a poem written back in 1600s or 1700s by Cicero, the old poet. Mm -hmm. So from those days, there was an endorsement towards beating your child, beating your walnut tree, and beating your woman. So Jamaica now, unfortunately, we have adopted that mentality and we have seen during Corona that the level of frustration because of being up in each other's faces and with nagging no jobs, no monies uh, became the issue, the focal point. And then these males, sometimes females also, will take it out on their loved ones. Mm -hmm. And what I want to let everyone know today, suicide is not a way out, nor is murder. Domestic violence is for the weak and the faint of heart. We have evolved as a nation, we have evolved as an island, a, a, um, a country, and we have evolved as a people to where mental illness of which depression is one of them, and abuse is treatable if you are willing to take the first step in seeking counseling, in seeking good advice from professional individuals. You know, when we were little, we were allowed to be sick from our eyes, go down to our foot bottom. Mm -hmm. We were never allowed to be sick in the head. <laughs> uh, 
and because of religious influences and other types of external influences, we were shy towards accepting mental illness as real. Mm -hmm. And we call it obia, we call it badra, ganja, we call it this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. uh, bipolarity, um, ADHD, these are real issues that affect all of us. And there's no man, woman, or child, and some animals also, that don't face depressing situations at times. It is okay, ladies and gentlemen, to reach out. And I'm not telling you to reach out to your pastor and stop there. We hmm. have nothing against pastors. Unless your pastor is trained in the fine arts of psychological counseling and also domestic violence counseling through a psychological um, background, your best bet is to go to your doctor, tell the doctor you're facing certain marital issues or certain issues that makes you depressed, you feel uh, withdrawn. It, in fact, DG, what I want to do next time we meet, let's not talk about law the next time. Let's talk about depression and the signs of depression, Whoa. what depression really means, and the impact of depression on a family, and how some tips that we can practice to get out to recognize and to avoid depression. So let's, let's do that for the people next time. And, and you know that is really true, Mr. Merritt, because a lot of persons are depressed. Um, did you know, you know, and I'm not preempting you for the, but you've been a counselor. But did you know that I know that mental that depression is a part of mental illness? Sure. Yeah. Sure, it is mental illness. And, and it, it is, but there are different degrees of depression that we can either snap out of or sink us deeper into mental issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I mean, we do get depressed over bills. We do get depressed over uh, people talking to us in a certain way that is degrading. We get depressed when we're late for things. We get depressed when our expectations are not met. That is quite normal. That is everyday occurrence. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. there are certain types of depression and the way we react to the depression and the way we address depression that sometimes forces us, pushes us deeper into that hole where now we don't feel like getting out of bed, we don't feel like eating, we don't feel supercharged, we feel lonely, even though we might be in a crowd of 100 people, we feel alone. Mm -hmm. And, and these are some of the signs that, uh, you know, it all comes from your head. Remember, your brain controls every part, every aspect of your existence, mm -hmm. every aspect. But Ma until we can address the issues of, of depression and where it starts, when I was a youngster and, and when you were in, in school, DG, <laughs> the teachers would treat you a certain way, call you dirty names, beat you, mm -hmm. throw the book and hit you, slap you in your head back and did not realize that there would be psycho grave psychological impact mm -hmm. that would last that child through life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So but these are things that part of depression also is also and stems also from the way in which we are treated by those around us and mm -hmm. those who are not willing to accept the fact that they're treating us badly. You know, sometimes, DJ, all it takes to snap out of a depressive mood is a hug or a kind word oh, or yes. someone apologizing. Oh, yes. I, I, when they asked me what I was giving up for length, good evening, Kevoy Chambers from Sunny Hill, St. Thomas, and Altia. Um, yeah. When they asked me what I was giving up for length, I simply told them that I'm going to make an effort not to get upset with the things that Antoine does to upset me. And I remember. You remembered? Yeah. And to be honest, let me tell you, Antoine. I don't know if he has changed how he has operated, but I have changed how I've reacted to the things that he does. And so if I say to him, tidy the living room that you are using, because I hardly sit in it because of you and your games. If I go home and when I go home, it's not tidied. I say tidy it now and go to your bed. I'm not upset or anything. And if you know a 16-year-old boy going to bed from 7 o'clock in the night, ain't no joke. So I don't get upset anymore. I don't cuss. I don't raise my blood pressure. I don't. No. And I realize we have a very good relationship now. One of the things that I think parents do too is to speak down to their children. Like you have said that the teachers normally used to do to us back then. Big head boy or long foot boy or ugly. And actually it allows them to be depressed among with other things that they have dealing with. But I, I have know. some questions to ask you. But I want to, um, as it relates to the law, but like how we chatting yeah, about man. this. Mr. Mr. Merrick, you are a trained counselor, right? Yes. Be the desire to keep your own company, to 
I keep my own company. Mr. Merrick, I really love my own company. Is it that I'm depressed? I love my own company. I love being by myself. I am, I am I going through depression? No, not, not necessarily. I, I'll, I'll give you some signs of depression right now. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, for those of you with a um, piece of paper, I'm going to give you three seconds to get a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. And if, if you really want to talk about depression, I, I'll go into it right now with you. Um, if, if you really want to do uh, it. Uh, to be honest, I have some questions here, Mr. but I'm willing to leave the questions so we can talk about depression. Because it's a, it's a real thing, you know? It's a real thing. Um, but I want to know, you, I want to tell me some different signs of it because persons might think I am, I'm not a depressed person. I don't think so. But I love, and that's why I spend so much time on Facebook and on other social media sites because it allows me, Mr. Merrick, to be by myself, but yet still, it's like I have the best of both worlds. So I'm by myself, but I get to interact with the world. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. That's not depression, DG. <laughs> yeah, That's thanks. not depression at all. L let me tell you what depression is, all right? Mm -hmm. um, now, get a piece of paper, DG. Yes. And, and um, you're going to write down what I'm telling you, right? Hold on, let me get a paper because I saw my... The person on the Facebook is saying, Ricardo Porches is saying, Good evening, Del Rose. Shout out to all the listeners from across the world. Good evening, I'm Ricardo Porches. Thank you very much. All right, so you say I'm to get a piece of paper, right? Getting my paper, right. sir. Right. Yes, Let yes. me know when you're ready. And, and I, let's yeah, man, I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Now, depression, I want you to draw, I want you to write the word depression. Don't write it across the page. Write it down the page. One letter. On oh, the down the page. D, E, yeah. E, R, E, S, S. Yes, I've, do, I've done that, sir. All right. Now, the first one, you, you wrote letter D. Yes. The first one is that you feel desperate. You feel e -E despondent. You feel disconnected from that, those things, that people around you. You feel like you don't want to be apart. So you feel disconnected, despondent, um, or desperate. Yeah, you feel as if the morning. world is coming to an end. You feel as if there's a sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. um, you feel a disconnect, like these little things that would make you laugh with your sister or your kids, these little things that you would enjoy, like your television or your dinner. Um, you don't want to be a part of it. You don't have the appetite, the drive, the zest, the zeal, the, the desire to engage in those activities anymore. So mm -hmm. that's the D. Mm -hmm. The E, the E part of it, depression, you feel empty inside. Mm -hmm. You feel that there's an emptiness, like somebody, um, you lost somebody, you lost your pet, you lost your loved one, that weight on your chest. Uh, you feel as if uh, that weight is coming up inside of you and it keeps you um, yearning for something to be filled. There's an emptiness inside of you, that's the E. Mm -hmm. The P now, the EP, is that you feel pressured. Mm -hmm. You feel as if uh, your heart is racing fast. You feel as if your blood pressure is moving fast or high. You feel your temples. You feel anxious. You feel as if uh, um, you are in a corner. You're trying to fight yourself out of this corner. That's pressure, D E P. Mm -hmm. Pressured. Mm hmm. The R. Now, the last three letters, we're going to stop before we get to I, O, N. We're going to stop and, and, and S. Um, we, we, so we are up to R. R, you, you regress. You regress. You go back to an issue, <clears throat> something that is bothering you. You keep going back. I wonder what she meant by that. Mm -hmm. I wonder why she leave me. I wonder if she's with another man right now. I wonder if this. I wonder if that. I wonder if the boy all right. I wonder if him doing drugs. I wonder if this, that. When in fact, uh, you, what they say, the, the, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. So that R is where you regress to that issue, mm -hmm. that point, like scratching a mosquito bite, mm -hmm. where it feels so good to scratch the mosquito bite, 
but you don't realize you're destroying your skin. Mr. Merrick, I'm going to Go stop ahead. just right there and just like take a short break because we are going to finish this yes, word, ma'am. this word depression. Very, very, very important. Good evening, Georgia Brown from up there in New York City. Bless up yourself, my sister. And Denny's from Cornwall Barracks. Say good evening, Denny's from Cornwall Barracks, locked in. I want to say thanks to everyone that has tuned in and who is on our Facebook live page also. Uh, we have been speaking to Mr. Merrick Damar, and he's an attorney at law and a counselor. He resides in the United States of America. He is a Jamaican by birth. And um, I have a series of questions for him for immigration, but we decided to speak about depression. And so he being a counselor, he'll definitely help us this evening to see the signs and at the end to help us to see how we can deal with it. But we're gonna be doing um, some business at this time, so we are going to ask you to stick and stay with us. We'll be right back with you after these short messages. I'm yes, yes, yes. tired of you and this pop down jalapeno, you know, you know. Watch there, we all run out of gas now. But babes, I think the quarter town could have carried from Kingston come up with Antonio. Uh, boss man, which part around here is the nearest gas station there? Yeah man, right up the road man. Brahms, Texaco, right up SID. So boss, we can get one cup of coffee, one hot dog, anything for eat around here? Lady, you know what I say? Brahms, Texaco, everything up there. Brahms, Texaco, service station and convenience store. Located at Arbor Street, Port Antonio, Long Bay, Portland, 24 Queen Street, Morant Bay, Gale, St. Mary. Proud sponsor of In the Know of the Law. For complete auto repairs and services, come to Aiken Auto Technology, located at 33 Bombo Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica. We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing, brake drum and disc rotary servicing, state-of-the-art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors. We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876 715-5205 or email AconAutoTech16 at gmail.com Acon Auto Technology beyond the typical auto mechanic shop the Jamaica Customs Agency is advising all importers that starting May 11, 2020, it is mandatory to use the express clearance process to clear all shipments at or below 5,000 US dollars. Ask your freight forwarder, customs broker, warehouse operator or other authorized agents to prepare and submit your goods declarations to customs before attending for inspection. Speak with your agent for information on the express clearance process or visit www www.jacustoms.gov.jm Telephone 876-922-51408 or email public.relations at jca.gov.jm Jamaica Customs committed Amidst to the stopping. shocking COVID-19 pandemic, Germany's auto endorses social distancing with great and exciting discounts on all make vehicles for all potential purchasers. We partner with financial institutions in providing smashing bargains. There is a 50% discount on your processing fee and Germany's auto will pay your first month installment in full. Conditions apply. First responders to include soldiers, police, doctors, nurses, firefighters. We have your interests covered healthcare workers your preferred package warrant special attention Germany's auto 52a west street port antonio and white river ultra locations awaits your call for your vehicle 819-0466 and 822-6569 oh i'm here oh your face looks so why me have a tea the whole night last night you know going to dentist after me no 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 i mean no no dentist you don't know about portland smells then i wear that day Right in front of Armelie and at the plaza upstairs as I got Jacob's law firm office. Turn right, one nice dentist place up there. Then a wedding do up there, so they do a lot of things, mama. Extraction, cleaning, examination, filling, dentures, root canal, crowns, x-rays. And if you want braces, they do referrals too. Now if you find up there right here now and care chun chun too. Because the whole of in front of them are at now. Portland Smiles, 42 West Street, Port Antonio. Open Mondays to Fridays, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Call them at 876-603-9042 or 876-422-3333. 
native audio stage and lighting. Now offering stage, lighting and trust systems for your small and medium sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native audio stage and lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the second and final half of In the North the Law on Styles FM, Jamaica's number one radio station. I want to say thanks to everyone that has um, locked in with us uh, from 5 o'clock or rather 5.05 p.m. And uh, to everyone that is on our Facebook live page, that's the Styles FM fan page. Thank you to everyone that has tuned in and remember to share the video. All right, to the persons who have WhatsApp us at 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. Thank you very much for tuning in. Cassidy, um, trying to find out if <laughs> my engineer knowing us and we can see so well. So I'm carrying. Uh, good evening, DG Delrose Green Asher from Morton, locked in, listening to your program. Bless up yourself. Thank you very much from up there in Morton. Nice, nice, cool place. Locked in. Asher means a lot to me. All right. And for the gentleman who called in from Port Maria, Lord, I don't remember your name. So he's at Port Maria, and I'm actually, I hear my voice, and I'm like my voice, and I'm like the vibes. And, um, Thank you very much, my brother. If you can WhatsApp back your name to me, I would love to give you a shout out, but I don't remember your name. You just called in um, before I started the program. That's 876-453-1444. Feel free to WhatsApp and let me give you a shout out. And thank you very much for recognizing that. We are doing our thing, all right? Glenard McIntosh, uh, say good evening, DG. Thank you very much, uh, Glenard McIntosh. Really appreciate. Mr. Merrick, back with you, sir. Yes, sir. So, All right, so when we started off, we said that D meant that you felt despondent, you're not focused, desperate, you felt disconnected from the rest of the world. E, very low energy or supercharged energy. You know, depressed people can have supercharged energy as well. Okay. P is you feel pressured, you feel as if the world is caving in on you, you're in a corner and the ceiling is falling in on you. And then we have R, which is the regress to a point where you just keep living on, harping on one situation and your mind is racing and racing and racing. Can't turn off your mind, which, which is one of the things that leads to um, the S. But before we get to the S, we have E, which is eating. You, mm. you start to either eat more or don't eat at all or eat very little. Oh, yes. That's why you see a lot of people, when they're depressed, they put on a lot of weight because mm -hmm. they keep eating and eating and eating. And there are other people, when they're depressed, they just stay in one spot and don't eat anything at all. Mm -hmm. Then the S now, the S, D-E-P-R-E-S, is for change in sleep patterns. You either end up sleeping too much where the bed, you clean to the bed, don't want to let go of your, you're, you're stuck in the bed, you're not moving out to the bed. Mm -hmm. So you're sleeping too much or you're not getting enough sleep at all. Mm -hmm. Right? For those who don't get sleep and have a phone, and then they become president and you go on Twitter, but that's another sort of another day. Um, <laughs> Um, so that's the S. The next S now, which is the second S, is that you feel sad. And the sad part of feeling sad is that you feel as if you're better off dead, which is suicide. Mm -hmm. So the second S is suicide or feeling really sad, feel like you're better off dead. Mm -hmm. Feel like, you know, sometimes you even want to spite somebody that made you depressed. And mm -hmm. by committing suicide, you're going to teach them a lesson. Mm -hmm. Then you have I which is you feel irritated, DJ. You feel irritated, and sometimes you feel like you want to isolate yourself. You just don't want to be bothered with nobody. Mm -hmm. You're going to spite the world. You're going to, you're going to take yourself away from the world and go sit on our corner and don't move. Mm -hmm. Then you have O. Oh. Now, if I'm going too fast, stop me. Now. No, but go ahead, man. I'm writing. I'm going to go back over them. Sure. You have O, oh, which is you feel oblivious to what is happening around you. You're withdrawn. Mm. You don't care. You don't care to the... The, the dish is piling up in the sink. Whoa. You don't care that the bills are not being paid. You don't care, you don't care, to, and you don't care that you don't take a shower? You don't care if you don't take a shower. You don't You don't want to answer your phone even though your best friend calling you to check up on you. You, you see the phone ringing and you just say, boy, I'd love to talk to DG, but you know what? Maybe later. 
Mm-hmm. And then you're watching mm-hmm. television and you're not focusing and you're listening to your favorite Bob Marley music and you're not getting the words. You feel oblivious. Mm-hmm. And then the N, the N, which is the last N I O N, you feel as if you're nobody. Wow. You yeah. You feel as if you're nobody. You know, Mr. Merrick, I'm not going to call her name. But somebody just WhatsApp me, a very good friend of mine, to say, interesting topic. I'm having the same feelings. Y- you know, Mr. Merrick, I'm going, um, I mean, we have time left on this program, so we're going to continue. But next week, I want us to actually go deep into depression. Because I, I see where persons probably are having these signs. And, 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 and for the persons who are just joining us, I have a number of questions for Mr. Merrick. He is, in fact, an, an immigration lawyer. So I have all the pretty questions lined up, but we just started talking about the suicide murder in St. Thomas with the man who killed his, wa- his common-law wife and the baby and killed himself. And so we branched off into depression. And what you just came on heard is Mr. Merrick giving us a definition of depression, right? And um, Mr. Merrick, let me just tell you that I wrote them down. And I, can I go back over them quickly? Sure, man, sure. And so Mr. Merrick said D, the, for depression, D is desperate. The E is that you feel empty. The P is that you feel pressured. Uh, the R is for regress. And the E is for eat. Is that you eat too much or you just feel like you don't want nothing at all to eat? The S is for sleep pattern change. Is that you, you just sleep, 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 can't stop sleep, or you're not, you don't, you're not sleeping well at night. And the other S is that you feel sad, you feel suicidal. The I is that you feel irritated, and so you feel like you want to isolate yourself. And um, O is for oblivious, withdrawn. And the N is that you really feel uh, uh, your self-worth is not there anymore. You feel like a nobody. Mr. Merrick, how did I do? Wonderful, 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 wonderful. <laughs> now, let's, look on some of the, let's quickly look on some of the causes of depression. Mm-hmm. Now, some of the causes of depression, uh, you have biological reasons, mm-hmm. um, which you're born that way. Your parents might have been depressed. Um, your, your grandparents might have been depressed. And you have, you know, it, you're born that way. Some people are born warriors. I, I didn't say warriors. I said warriors. Warrior, right. They worry about everything. Right. Worry about everything. Mm-hmm. The weather, you worry about what Nostradamus said 500 years ago. You worry. <laughs> it, um, in some cases, it's, it's the brain chemistry. As you know, we are controlled by our brain, and our brain is one mass of chemicals. Mm-hmm. And the brain fires, and our body reacts. And if our chemical balance is off, um, it can affect that. Now, what causes chemical balances to be off at times? Well, we, the other reason could be hormonal. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we see this in postpartum women that just have kids where during the, the carrying of the child, um, their hormones would escalate. Mm-hmm. And then when a the child is born, it falls. And, and the brain and the body are out of mesh with the hormones right now. And we also see that through drug and alcohol use, where it throws the body off, it throws the brain chemistry off, um, the usage of um, alcohol and, uh, and drugs. We also see that we have traumatic experiences that happens in our life. And of course, as human beings, we all react to certain trauma. Now, a trauma does not only mean a death in your family or you lost your house, you got a divorce, or you, um, you lost important to you, your job. It could also mean that, DG, you lost your puppy. The puppy yeah. that you, or you, you lost your chicken to a car. Yes. The, the car drove over the chicken and you feel, you feel bad. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So we, that, that could be a traumatic experience. Um, the other thing is also stress. The way in which some people react to stress determines their ability mm-hmm. to cope. Uh, some people are under stress, uh, they get angry, they get irritated, some people cry, some people get sad, some people lash out, some people even start laughing. Mm-hmm. Stress is a factor in depression. Mm-hmm. Then we have mental disorder. Oh, yes. We could have bipolar, we could have ADHD, which is attention um, deficit hyperactivity disorder. Mm-hmm. And we see that in a lot in kids. Yes. And that's why you see where some kids are acting out, uh, we don't evaluate them. And we say them rude and out of order and we beat them. Mm-hmm. In fact, they need help, mm-hmm. not a mm-hmm. beating. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. and then there's certain illnesses which is too long to go into right now. But a person can get hit on the head. And, and, and person could be in a to, to, to be, I, I just saw um, where my friend wrote and said that me just eat and can't stop eat. And that is one, that is definitely what a sign that yeah. I'm eating the wrong things at the t- also. Yeah, so let, let me give you a tip. Let me give you a few little tips now. Let's talk about eating. Mm-hmm. Um, there's certain comfort food that really, really makes a difference. A nice bowl of beef soup, some chicken, fried chicken, ice cream, cake. Um, but we, we have to start to, a piece of chocolate here and there, we have to start to be sensible and count the calories in these things. Mm-hmm. Now, when you're depressed, you tend to find comfort in those familiar things away from human beings because it probably was a stressful human situation that caused you to, de- to be depressed. Yes. And what we've come to realize is that, and, and ladies and gentlemen, this is the biggest thing I want to leave you with today. This is the biggest thing I want to leave you with today. When you're depressed, choose carefully the person you're going to share your depression with. Amen. I wanted to I'm say that. Said, I, I wanted to say that a little louder because the person at the back of the church didn't hear you. Good, ladies and gentlemen, take my foolish advice. When you are depressed, when you're feeling sad, when you're feeling dejected, despondent, desperate, when you have low energy, when you feel pressured, when your heart is racing and you regress, when you're not eating and sleeping properly, when you feel suicidal and sad, when you feel irritated and isolated, when you feel oblivious, and when you feel like no one, do not go to any and anybody for for uh, comfort and for advice. Choose the person carefully. Mm -hmm. This is what you should not do. Don't choose a gossip monger. Hmm. Number two, don't choose somebody that is not too smart. Mm -hmm. Number three, don't definitely don't choose somebody who have more problems than you Mm -hmm. because the moment you open your mouth, they're going to start to tell you, fit them problems. Oh, yes. Their problem going to be bigger than your problem. Yes. You're going to feel worse than you started off with. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, you know, interesting. You know, interesting. We had a conversation that I was talking about some Jamaicans. So I said to you, "Boy, Mr. Merrick, you know, so me, 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 me uncle, I want big chop on him, foot man, and it's something that depressed me. Hear you know, no? You know, so my cousin here want chop and another chop they kill him. Thank you, thank you. Um, Queen thank in Canada is asking, Mr. Merrick. Um, one of my listeners, ardently, is asking, is depression hereditary? It can be hereditary. That's part of the biological um, uh, makeup of, heredit- uh, of depression, that it, it can run in the family like diabetes. It can run in the family like um, high blood pressure, like heart issues. Because remember, it's a brain issue. And yes, depression also is a reactive um, situation where we tend to react based on what we learn as kids. Mm-hmm. If, if your father and mother, um, situations that they laugh it off. You'll probably learn that also. But yes, depression can be hereditary, sure, mm-hmm. without a doubt. And depression and can it allow persons also to have a very low self-esteem. Well, that's that's the end. The no one. They feel like no nobody. one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, um, let me give you some quick tips, uh, and this is not a cure-all of cure-all. Um, the first tip is try to exercise. The time you spend in the bed, try to get up and do some exercise. Mm-hmm. Um, because exercise tends to burn energy and it tends to cause you to focus on other things like moving one foot in front of the other mm-hmm. than the issue at hand. Mm-hmm. Um, the second thing is put on some background music mm-hmm. while you're doing your exercise. Get mm-hmm. out, get some fresh air, tie, force yourself to tidy up your room, mm-hmm. force yourself to comb your hair, force yourself to put on, if you're a female, some nice makeup. If you're a man, shave yourself nicely and put on your cologne, put on your underarm, deodorant, force yourself to do this. Mm-hmm. The more you do it, the more you're going to be thinking about the other person or the issue, and the more you're going to get sad. But it is when you reach that point of utmost despair that you're going to start to find that you're fixing yourself because the darkest hours right before the dawn. Mm-hmm. The next thing you want to do is understand that this too shall pass. Time is longer 
than rope. Mm -hmm. And what that simply means in psychology is, is that uh, most problems, DG, your financial problem, your love problem, your, your cut on your hand, the fact that you, somebody stole your puppy and you're too good, the fact that your mom passed away, the fact that this, that, and the other, in time, the brain and the body will start to communicate with each other again, mm -hmm. and it will be less burdensome and easier to bear. I, di I didn't say it'll go away. I said it'll be less burdensome and easier to bear. <laughs> um, Eating. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And somebody said, very informative. I think the first S, somewhat maybe me at times. Let me see what the first S is, sleep pattern change. And um, Mr. America, you know, I want us to do our research. And when we come back, we're going to have a full program on this thing. Because so many persons are WhatsApping. One of the main purpose for depression, Mr. Merrick, is relationship problems. And, uh, you know, I just want to give my little two cents on it, Mr. Merrick. You are never a girl. You are never a young lady, but I want to tell persons out there that the persons that you feel as if you can't live without, the person that you feel like you can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't drink because things not go right with him or her. If you walk away, after walking away, you said, what the hell was I doing? If you just allow yourself to get the enough energy to move away from this, because I can tell you, um, persons might for better for worse, if too much worse than I'd run. Miss America, a lot of the things that we are holding on to, do you know that we are better off without it? Sure, sure, sure. 100% sure. It's like, you, it's like you have some chicken into a coob, and the chicken into the coob, the door lock every day. Any time you open that door, the chicken will not come out, you know, because they kind of get used to this enclosed environment that they can't even see that the door is wide open now you can step out. Sure. And so a lot of us, uh, Miss America, is depressed because I'm going to give a testimony one day, you know. Miss America, I'm going to give my life story one day on this radio, you know. I give a little I'd part. I'd love to hear it. I go, uh, let me tell you something. Ain't nobody going to depress me. And I know depression is real. I see persons sink into it. Don't want to talk to nobody. Don't want to bed. Don't want to go to the movies no more. Don't want to. And you see they sink into it until, and I can tell persons, we have to find different ways, as you have said, to snap out of it. Because depression is mental illness, and it can escalate to the next stage. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and, and not only that, but at the end of the day, you come to realize that you are the only victim in all of this. Yes. And you, you, you start to victimize yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. one of the things I was going to, and we only have two minutes left, so I'll take 45 seconds. To My engineer is talking in front of the clock. I can't see the clock, so go ahead talking. Every evening, place himself right in front of the clock. So I'm not looking over there, so go ahead, Mr. Murray. <laughs> Eating. <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're forced to eat, Eat carrots and celery stick, eat some fruits, eat some vegetables, eat some raw vegetables and fruits, and some peanut butter. Um, stay away from things that are high in carb, high in sugar, and uh, high in cholesterol. Just stay away from those things. Uh, eating becomes comforting. Yes. So uh, for, for those of you who are going to end up binge eating, do the celery stick, the carrot stick, the apples, the pears, the grapefruit, the oranges, things that will fill you. Mm -hmm. And eat as much as you want to, but remember, watch your sugar intake, watch your, your caloric intake, the calories, and watch the carbohydrates. Um, one of the things is also you have to face the source of your, of your depression. And if you feel as if, uh, let's say, DG, I offended you, we broke up our relationship, and you feel really sad, and you feel really upset, and you feel <laughs> depressed. You feel depressed based on the, 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 the uh, definition. Me have a way for when me break up, me have a party in when I but go and talk. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> make, sure you invite, make sure you invite me to it. Make sure you invite me to it. Um, so you, you, you should sit down and write me a letter, whether you mail the letter or not. Spill out your, your mind. Talk out your mind. Spill your guts. Cry, shout, scream, use foul language, get it out of your system, writing it, writing it, writing it is the first step to getting it out of your system, making it come alive so that you don't repress it, you don't regress it, you don't push it deeper inside of you. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Find a little quiet spot, put on some music and scream, scream, run in place, scream. And also the best 
the best advice I can give you, seek professional help. Mm -hmm. Accept that depression is real. It is a mental issue that can be that can be cured or addressed, and if left long enough, it could cost you your life. It is okay to take that deep breath and privately and quietly go seek professional help. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I believe in God like everybody else, but depression is not one of those things you really want to first and foremost try to pray it away. Prayer is good, <laughs> but seek professional help from a licensed individual who will go through your psychological history and talk you through it, give you exercises to do in terms of mental exercises, and give you homework to do while you're praying. But my suggestion is while you're praying, seek professional advice and assistance. I, I know I, I'm not depressed, but one of the things that I use, you see, anytime I get up at night, Mr. America, if for any reason I can't go back to sleep, you know that I talk to God until I fall asleep. It's the sweetest sleep. Mr. Merrick, any night you wake up, you probably go to your bed too early and wake up in the night and can't sleep. Lay down and just talk to God. Like, just pretend like he's, he's beside you sitting down. And just talk to him. Mr. Merrick, just talk to him. You do it even when you fall asleep. It's something that I've done and continue to do. Um, I'm, glad some you said that. I'm glad you said that. You know, I'm glad you said that because talking to God is also talking it out. As I said, write a letter. Mm hmm it's also getting it out of your system. So however you do it, just get it out of your system. Talk to your granny that passed away 20 years ago. I talked to my mother and father and brother that passed away. Mm -hmm. I talked to them. The whole idea is get it out of your system. <laughs> if you want to talk to God, that's the first place to go. But it should not be the only place to go. We Recognize the problem and deal with it. We have to continue this topic, Mr. America. And you know, we're going to stay on this topic for a while. Somebody say, um, DG, I don't know if you want me to call your name. You can just say yes, and I'll call your name. But she said, DG, I am backing you on that. That is true. I was in a relationship and I want where I wanted to commit suicide. And before I do so, I walked away from that relationship. And now I know I'm a better person today and I never regret it. Mr. Mr. Merrick, you see the suicide word coming up again? You see, and, yes. and, and you see the suicide word coming up again? Yes. And I yes. can relate. I can relate, Asha. Asha from Moortown, I can relate to the suicide argument. As I tell us, one day I go and tell me story, you know. But, Good. Um, and um, Peter Mackenzie said, DG, depression disorder mostly come from lack of love and even self-love. And you are so correct. You are correct, you Peter. Know, I'm glad you said that because one of the most important tools that you have in your house, believe it or not, DG, is your mirror. Look in the mirror. Oh, Lord. Fall in love again. Ask yourself, what are you doing? Ask yourself that. Mr. Merrick, me know. you see when me looking at the mirror, Mr. Merrick, me just see this nice, cute girl. Mr. Merrick, me just, well, you see me looking at the mirror. So, so when I come out of the room, I say, hey, DJ, you're sexy, you know, you're sweet, you know, you're pretty, you know. You know, I, I nice. say thank you, but I already know that. I see it. Nice. And I'm not being, I, I mean, let me tell you something, Mr. Merrick. You have to love you. And I was never always like this. There was a time that I love other people more than myself. And then when you put, yes, uh, you put all your love and emotion and everything in other people and then turn them back, that is where the depression comes in and the, and, and the thought of suicide. I'm going to tell my story one of the day. I might tell my story the next time we talk because we're going to continue this depression argument, Mr. Mary, because you have been of great help to uh, um, a lot of persons. Thank you, DG. I, I, I want to say don't let the end, which is the nobody, become your problem. You are the best person in the world, and if you fall in love with somebody else before you fall in love with you, you're, you're bound to feel like you're nobody when it breaks up. So to feel like everything and everybody, look in the mirror, find love in the mirror, and everything else must follow you. I, you're the prize. I, All the best, my dear. Thank you very much, Mr. America. And I can tell you my parting words to you is that I am 53 years old. In the 9th of December, I'll be uh, 54 years old. And I, my, my, uh, my motto is that you have good, better, best. At 54, I, am, I have good and good, better. I have still not met best as yet. Thank you very much, Mr. Merrick. All the best. Thank you. Now. All right. Thank you very much, listeners. We have been speaking to Mr. Merrick Damar. Actually, see how the conversation just switched place because I actually came on. He's an immigration lawyer, but he's also a trained 
a trained counselor and and um you know we just started talking about the death in saint thomas and one thing led to another and i can tell you that this is something that i think we need to get in the root of and explain it that persons that don't cannot recognize that listen i'm depressed by us conversing and telling you the different signs you might just say but this a depression may i go through you know what i'm saying and so we're going to continue this conversation and see if we can let somebody just snap out of it you know because you can't snap out of it you know just snap out of it one of the things that he said that i think is very important be careful who you tell your story and you have to recognize also friends I'm, I'm getting, I'm completely out of time. But if you are a friend, recognize when your friend is going through depression. Now, let me tell you something. I remember I have a very, very good friend of mine. I thought she was my buddy, buddy. And the other day, we had an argument for nothing. I was trying to assist her in a situation. And can I tell you, I, 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 I called her, and I was trying to talk to her. So she, you know, she had get flustered. And I said to her, you know, you hear what I just said to you? I dealt with it already. You listen to what I'm saying to you because it's like you aggravating yourself. And she cussed me off, cussed me off, and come off my phone, come off my phone, and hang up on me. And I said, my God. I came off the phone, and I felt bad because I said, I am trying to solve her problem, and she flipped the coin. But when persons are going through depression, they sometimes change the whole thing and let it be you. And so I can tell you, oh, somebody's asking me about Mr. Merrick's number. Let me quickly give out Mr. Merrick's number before I get off. Somebody's asking, oh, gosh, I didn't remember. My apologies. Um, uh, Cassidy, where's Mr. Merrick's number? All right, so I am out of time. All right, so if you want to talk to Mr. Merrick, his number is 718-5100. Six two eight one. That's seven one eight five one nine six two eight one. Mr. Merrick Damar. All right. Or you can email him at damarlaw seven eight two at yahoo dot com. That's a D A M M A R L A W seven eight two at yahoo dot com. I'm completely out of time. All right. Somebody say very informative. And so this, this type of advice usually costs a lot of dollar and is not oh and is not easily accessible to all. Esther from New Jersey. Thank you very much, Esther. I'm going to continue this because I realize that we might be able to save someone. All right. To everyone that has tuned in this evening, too much to call names because I'm completely out of time and I'm going to get myself in trouble. But thanks very much. Thanks to Mr. Merrick Demar and thanks to everyone that tuned in on the program this evening. Of course, I want to say thanks to our kind sponsors, Native Audio Stage and Lighting, to Braham's Texaco and to Portland Smiles, also at Empty Landscaping Services. To all my listeners on Facebook Live, the Styles page, and to everyone that WhatsApp us, to everyone that listens to the radio, thank you very much. This has been your program in the know of the law. I've been your host, Sergeant Delrose Green, DG Angel, along with my engineer, Cassidy, saying take care, God bless you, and walk good. We gone. Bye-bye. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events, whether it's a stage show, concert,